California sheephead are all born females. Hi, what's going on everybody? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my adventures with aquatic animals with you. It is my goal to raise awareness of our beautiful bodies of water and the creatures that live in them through science, stories, and art. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Please stick around to the very end to hear about my charity opportunity. Today we will discover the California sheephead, and yes, it's a fish. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Semicosophus pulcher are known as California sheephead. They are a ray-finned fish related to wrasses. They can be found from Monterey Bay, California to the Gulf of California, Mexico. They prefer habitat that is near the coast from 6 to 21 meters deep. California sheephead spend most of their lives in rocky coastline being protected by kelp forests. Males, during breeding season, become territorial. Alpha males also wander to deeper water during the day and return to shallow water at night. California sheephead are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day. They are out and about during the day and hide themselves during the night to avoid predation. They do this by covering themselves in a thick mucus layer so that a predator doesn't want to eat them, and then they go to sleep. But since they don't have eyelids, we really can't tell if they're asleep or not. Now that we know where to find California sheephead, let's discover what they look like and some behaviors. So, what are we looking for? We are looking for a beautiful and bizarre fish. These fish have a long ras body with large heads, big pectoral fins, and a crescent tail with longer tips on the top and the bottom. Juveniles start out in a planktonic stage and grow to a light orange color with blue spots on the dorsal, anal, and caudal fins. They have a white stripe running from their eye to their tail. A caudal fin, for those unfamiliar, is the term for the tail fin. All juveniles are female until they grow large enough to become males. When they turn into males is determined by environmental and social factors. Females are smaller than males and light pink in color with a white band along the belly. They also have a white chin with long canine teeth protruding from the lips. Males and females are sexually dimorphic, meaning the males and females look different. Males have a black tail and a head with orange or red patch in the middle. They have a white chin, red eyes, and sharp teeth as well. Males also grow large heads as they age. This gives them the appearance of having a big bump on their forehead. How long do these fish live? If food is prevalent and the ecosystem is healthy, these fish can live up to 21 years in the wild. But, if the food is scarce, they can live up to 9 years old. These are cool looking fish, and can get large. On the high end of the data, California sheephead have been recorded at 1.1 meters long, or over 3 feet in total length. You can still measure a total length with this fish because it is a relatively flat tail. Now that we know what we are looking for, let's get into behavior. California sheephead have a dynamic social structure. If there is not enough males or an alpha male dies, the next largest male becomes the alpha male. This causes a few females to be pressured into turning into a male. This process takes between 2 to 5 weeks. Males become territorial and collect several females to breed, known as harems. They will stay with these females to breed for the season. They breed typically all at once in a spray and prey event. They spray their eggs and sperm and pray that it works. 
Females can produce between 36,000 and 296,000 eggs. This number varies due to the size and age of the female. Breeding season is between July and September. California sheephead are a keystone predator, meaning they manage the population health below them. They control the food web below them so that they don't explosively grow out of hand. So this brings us to our next segment of the episode, relating to the diet and population health of the fish. What do California sheephead eat with their large teeth? They are carnivores and eat meat. The large canine teeth are used to grab and pluck animals off the seafloor. They primarily eat sea urchins, crabs, crustaceans, benthic invertebrates, and small rocky reef fish. They help protect and maintain the populations for the kelp forest. Since they are a keystone predator in kelp forest habitat, their disappearance would throw off the whole ecosystem. They maintain healthy sea urchin populations, which feed on kelp. So how are the California sheephead doing? The IUCN Red List has them listed as vulnerable, and population trends are currently decreasing. This study was conducted in 2006 and needs to be updated. It would be cool to get an update on this species to see how they are doing. In the early 1800s, this fish was used in the salted and oiled fish trade. There was not much attention from commercial fishing until the late 1980s, when a market opened in Asia. This fish was used for aquariums and for food. Since sport and commercial fishing likes taking the largest animal they can, this creates an unbalance in the ratio of males to females. This is putting a huge stress on the population. If you're going to fish this animal, I recommend spear fishing. There is no bycatch, and you can choose which animal you take. You can leave the large males for breeding and can have a sustainable harvest. This brings us to our final part of our adventure. My personal experience with the California sheephead. I saw and discovered what a California sheephead was by visiting the Point Defiant Zoo and Aquarium. They have a Pacific Seas encounter. It was in the kelp and coastal Pacific tank. There were two large male sheephead in the tank. They were swimming all over the encounter, and I was amazed. I had never seen anything like it before. It was such a funny and large fish. I loved it. It swam high and low and gracefully through the kelp. The tank went from the floor to the ceiling, which is probably 15 to 20 feet up. The light filtered lazily through the water, and it was like a big coordinated dance between light, kelp, and fish. I love discovering new things. It was cool discovering that it was a keystone species. It makes it more important. I want to raise awareness about our bodies of water. I took this picture and recorded what it was in my notes. It was such a cool exhibit. This one really stuck out to me. This encounter with a large fish was special. I just didn't know how special it was until later. As the final details come into focus, I will call this adventure finished. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. I do my best to post new content every other weekend, but sometimes life gets in the way. I also help my community by helping and participating in monthly charities. This month I'm going to be raising awareness and funds for the Alzheimer's Association. They provide education, 
consultation, and resources for families who are being affected by Alzheimer's and dementia. Having somebody go through memory loss is really difficult. I typically choose foundations and charity organizations that have, I have been personally affected by, so that makes it more personal. I will leave a link in the description so that you can donate. If you would like to help this community so that I can continue going on cool adventures to help educate you, you can also support this channel by purchasing my art. I sell my art in the forms of originals as well as museum quality prints. Originals run $12 a linear inch and prints run $6 and $3 a linear inch depending if they're limited or unlimited edition. I also sell apparel on Teespring and I have a Patreon page. Thank you so much for being a part of this community and spending your time here. Remember, spread love and curiosity. I've been Brandon and I will see you in our next adventure.